Are you crying? It's the onions. It's the onions, I tell you. <laughs> oh. Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday. We are having an incredibly slow start to today. Last night we ended the vlog a little bit early because we were just so exhausted and tired and it was such a like refreshing night to just like literally we came in here at like 7.30 and just watched a couple episodes of, what's that show called? Oh, it's called Fixer Upper which is Chip and Joanna Gaines. It's a really cool show, but it's on like HGTV. We ended up watching like two or three episodes of that. But it was a lot of fun, and just like, it's resulting in a very slow morning because we just got so much rest, and both Allison and I are the people that if we like sleep too much or rest too much, it ends up just like dragging us down even further. So, I was able to get up and get the vlog edited and posted and things like that, that's great. But today is going to be an exciting day. Today we will be finalizing like our plan as to what we're gonna do about Michigan. So we're 150% going back. The options on the table right now are kind of threefold. Either we can try to talk to our management and see if we can go on Thursday night and then just be connected from like afar on Friday. We can leave as planned Friday night late. We could leave like real early Saturday morning. Now, the, I guess, thing with all of that, and I'm telling you all of this because you've been involved in this saga, but Thursday would be ideal because it would just be really cold and we'd miss all the snow. So that is probably like the best case scenario. Friday, it's gonna snow a lot, but you know, obviously there's dangers with that. And Saturday, apparently they're calling for like wintry mix, which would be like the absolute worst case scenario. So, in just talking about this, Saturday is out. So, either Thursday or the original plan. When I actually put my jeans on this morning, I noticed that I was able to take my belt in one more notch, Allison. So, Things are going well on that front. Paleo is working. On that note, I have not had even one cheat meal since we've started. And like, that's not to say, and I don't want to discount the fact that I haven't wanted to, <laughs> but the fact, it's just like real tough. And especially with like going back to like my parents cooking and things, and we're gonna have Christmas parties and such. It's gonna be a tough, tough road so I thought about it's like well you have to like right in the beginning I was talking about rewarding yourselves and incentivizing yourselves to like keep you going on this and I thought about like okay well I'll deserve like a cheat meal or something like that but I'm I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna do that this week because I think there's definitely a greater chance of any kind of cheating or something like that happening this weekend because of all like the good family recipes and stuff like that. But we're gonna do our best to even then resist, but then baking in a margin of error. Good morning, how are you this morning? Great, how are you? Terrific. Just finishing up your makeup? Yeah. Because we gotta get going to work soon. Yeah, can we go to Starbucks? We can go to Starbucks, but we gotta leave like right now. Okay, I just need to break my teeth. Famous last words of mine. It's like zero degrees outside right now. I'm bundled. Bye. Stay warm. Stay warm. Stay warm. Stay oh wait, you're coming with me. I am coming.
What's up guys? It is about lunchtime right now, so I am running out, not only to get my lunch, but also to CVS because I have to get some pictures printed. The pictures are actually part of one of the Christmas presents that we've been building up and talking about for someone back in Michigan. We are super stoked to show you that in the coming days. It is definitely not cool, or not warm, excuse me, it definitely is cool. And it's like really windy, so definitely not fun. My eyes are like watering, it's so cold. And actually an update on the travel front is that tomorrow Chicago is under like a cold advisory, which when it gets to be like negative 25, negative 30 with the wind, they, and yes, that's real numbers in Fahrenheit, they, actually like shut down the city and they're like preemptively talking about that right now and if that's the case they have sent out some emails from my office and saying that they will definitely be closed so that's a good thing we get to work from home <laughs> excited all right so now we're out of there and I have to admit something to you guys remember like days ago when I was like oh we're gonna finish the Christmas cards well I had to get some stamps for the remaining cards and they've been sitting in my backpack ever since so right now we're going to get the stamps we're getting this done and we're sending out them dang cards because I have to get them out all right guys, I am home now. It's the end of the day. I am still bundled up because I'm going right back out again. Allison had some meetings to round off her day and so she's meeting us at the store. We have to pick up some stuff for dinner tonight. I am making a very special like paleo dinner that I wanted to make that would last us today and tomorrow then obviously we don't have like any food left in the house to go bad or whatnot as we're gone for the weekend. So that's cool. But I did get my letters mailed out, so hell yeah, give this video a thumbs up for that. Finally, Christmas cards are done. But Allison wants us to meet us, whoa. Allison wants us to meet her at the store, so we're gonna head over there right now. Let's go. Oh, look who I found. Hi. Hello. Making a salad. Yeah, I don't know why, I'm just on the stop here. I half expected you to be like, nope, just sitting here picking through the lettuce. <laughs> We're back home, finally, getting decompressed, but preparing for the meal that we're gonna cook that's gonna last us like the next couple days. One of our favorite meals that we have throughout the year that is honestly one of my specialties that I have shown on the vlog before is chili. And I have a chili recipe that I've been perfecting for years and years, and I've made it before, but obviously there's a number of things that for my chili are not legal on paleo, mostly beans. So beans are not permitted on paleo, so you have to make do. And I've been doing a little bit of research and some paleo recipes and things like that that would actually make a really good compromise and believe it or not, from texture, if there's, depending on the way you cook them, butternut squash is a decent compromise. And so this, this recipe in particular is like seasoned and spiced very well, which is something that I think is absolutely essential to any chili. My chili that I normally make is seasoned very well. I don't say so myself. Peanut gallery, thoughts on my seasoning? Really good chili. I want your chili. I know, when I'm done with paleo, whenever that is, if ever, I'll make it. If ever! <laughs> anyway, yes, we will definitely be making the chili in the future. If not for a cheat day, a cheat week. But my whole point of saying all of this is like, chili is something that you can make, and you know, the longer it cooks, and even when you reheat it, the better it, reheat it? Reheat it, the better it tastes. And so, given that we're gonna be gone for like a long weekend, we are thinking that we're gonna make some chili and it's gonna last us a day or so. And so, I wanted to look up this recipe. 
let me explain to you what's in it right now. So basically what we got here is we've got our, our coconut oil, we've got some onion and garlic and serrano peppers. Not, these are not jalapenos, these are serrano peppers just so you can see. We also have some stock that doesn't have salt in it, so like the big sodiums, like some stocks, a butternut squash, a ground turkey breast, cilantro. Comment in the comment section below if you like cilantro. It wasn't long ago that I actually read that statistic that some people really, really don't care for cilantro, which for me is like devastating. Like if I didn't like cilantro, oh my gosh, I love it but they said that it's genetic in some people that you taste something similar to soap when pe some people eat cilantro. You're not like that, right, Allison? No, no, I like cilantro. But I definitely know some people that think that. So comment in the comment section below if you're one of those people. Like you don't either, A, you don't care for cilantro or if it, if it actually does taste like soap to you because it's genetic. Or if you like cilantro, comment in the comment section below because I am a cilantro nut. But in any case, we have like a whole gambit of spices here that we're gonna season. Just a couple basic ingredients, guys. I mean, look at this, like stock, onions, garlic, a couple peppers, you know, the, the turkey and the butternut squash. How easy. And we're gonna cook it all in a Dutch oven. Allison was starving and so the salad that she picked up at Jewel, I just said like go for it because it's gonna take me a minute to prepare this. So I had uh, some dried fruit as a snack and then we're gonna go ahead and get started making this together as soon as she's done. And then we have a very special thing that we're doing tonight that we absolutely love. Let's get cooking. The onions, I tell you. <laughs> you look very Luke right now. Very what? Luke. Gilmore Girls, Luke. Oh. Backwards baseball hat, flannel. Cooking. Jeans, yes, cooking. I'll take that as a compliment. You should. smells and looks so good. I cut up a little bit of cilantro here. I've got my iPad set up with the recipe. I will put the recipe in the description below if this looked at all intriguing to you. I love sharing this stuff with you guys because mostly you've responded really well when I share the recipes and cook and things and it's kind of become a staple on our channel as food and cooking and stuff like that. And like when we go out to eat, I always show the food. But uh, that's got like 20 minutes now. So it's in the Dutch oven here on the stove. We got this, I think, for Christmas last year, and it is brilliant. It's, you can do it in like a big crock pot or something like that, but it, you would go a crock pot or a big pot. I like to use the Dutch oven just because it keeps like moisture in and the heat is right, because it's ceramic, things like that. But while we wait for dinner to get done, we are gonna go get out all of our wrapping supplies, get all of the stuff ready for a Christmas present wrapping session to get all of the presents that we have to take that we're super excited about with us. And while we do it, I mentioned we're gonna be doing something special. We are going to be watching Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas cartoon version. So like the original. Not the Jim Carrey one, we already watched that one this year as we've been burning through Christmas movies all season. Right? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Perfect.
So I'm gonna come over here, turn our heat down, and let's check out this chili. First look at the same time. Ready? Oh, right. Look at that, guys. It smells so delicious. And I can already tell that the like consistency of the butternut squash is kind of, it's kind of like a bean, so that's gonna be kind of cool. Have to dish it up now and see what we think. These right here are actually what I use for my chili bowls, but I actually bought them from like a restaurant supply store and they're like a Mexican restaurant salsa bowls, but they look like little cauldrons and so they're super cute. All right, and just got the chili here and put a little cilantro on there and and look at that, chili, paleo style. All right, so now the first official taste test. Let's give it a shot. Oh, that's really good. That is super good, guys. It's spicy. I will tell you, it is spicy. It's got a kick to it, but that is so good. I will be making this again. Babe, come try this. All right, see what you think, huh? Just need a little bit. It is a little spicy, I'll be honest, but it's really good, in my opinion. It makes me nervous that you say it's a little spicy. <laughs> oh, hot. <laughs> too spicy? It's not too spicy, it's heat. It's not like hot. It's like a slow burn that doesn't go away for a little bit. Slow burn that weirdly went into like the sides of my like mouth. <laughs> it's but, like settling like right in here. But what do you think of it? It's really good. Like for being totally paleo. And no, it's <laughs> it's really good. Um, mine will have sour cream. Yeah, no kidding. Yours will be sour cream and cheese because... and all kinds of things because you're not paleo. And I gotta, I gotta cut that heat a little. <sighs> but guys, this is so good. A plus recipe in the description below if you're interested. <whistles> Alrighty, so we are done eating and wrapping up our wrapping. But we only have a few more gifts to finish wrapping and then we are heading to bed, guys. It is like nine o'clock at night, which isn't that late, but we need to get some rest. We have an early day tomorrow. We're gonna be working from home, which is good, but it is going to be terribly cold, like I mentioned earlier. They actually just pushed out through the National Weather Service that there's like the wind chill advisory and all of that stuff for negative 15 to negative 30 below. So just gonna be safe. In that time, guys, if you are ever in any of those areas today, you're watching, just be very, very careful. If you do go outside, you can get exposure, which means like, your skin actually freezes in less than five minutes in places where you just have op exposed skin and things like that. So if you do have to go outside and you're in some of these areas, please, please be careful. So just wanted to say that, especially in Chicago, we have a lot of wind and so just, just want everyone to be safe. So. Thanks a lot for sticking with us today, guys. We're gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here. Please give this video a big thumbs up. If you ever see any of our videos and you like them, share them with your friends. That's how we grow this channel, is through word of mouth and you know friends referring people to this channel. We would really appreciate it. We love you guys. Thank you, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.